Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is very exciting. It's yet another Killing Voice. We love Killing Voices. If you haven't seen us react to a Killing Voice performance before, go check out another one on our channel. We've done this many times. Yeah. These are great, like showcases of vocalists and groups. Um, just a really great way to get to know a singer and a group. Yeah. And we love them a lot. So today we are reacting to IU, who we were introduced to in one of our sponsored videos. So check that out if you haven't seen it. Thank and you, we're Sam. Just, yeah, we're really excited about it. Yeah. If you haven't seen that video too, it's just just her by herself. Yeah. And uh, it was an awesome, awesome video. Mm -hmm. So go check that out if you haven't seen that. As you guys know, we love to break these videos down because we are singers and we hope that you're interested in singing. That's why we make these videos. We make mm -hmm. these videos so that you can dive deeper into your favorite artists and how they do what they do yeah. so that hopefully you can try to do some of those things as well. And we say these things all the time, that singing is a mental game, mm. that the more pressure you put on it, the more you feel like you're doing stuff, um, the further you are away from just flowing, just being in your natural state and just letting your voice kind oh. of be that free, naturally beautiful voice that you have already inside you. You don't have to sound like other people. Yeah. And so things like performance anxiety, um, being self-conscious, all that kind of stuff can really affect your performance. Mm. You need to have confidence. You need yeah. to have conviction. Totally. You need to be self-assured and secure in order to express using your voice in a way that's just free into its full potential. So in order to reach those goals and to be in the best mental state we'd like to introduce our sponsor today, BetterHelp. That's H-E-L-P. They are the world's largest therapy service and they're 100% online. Yeah. Some of the things that people love is that it goes with your schedule. Mm -hmm. You can change therapists if you aren't finding somebody that you immediately identify with yeah. and that is free of charge. And so it is just a really good way to get grounded, get in a good mm -hmm. mental state so that you can do lots of things very well. One of them being singing, but another one just being everyday life functioning as be a human. Yeah. secure <laughs> totally be live with um live with conviction live with confidence yeah. all that all that kind of stuff is just it's hard to do if mm -hmm. you if you aren't you know stable and grounded in yeah. you know yourself so if that sounds like something you're interested in check out our link below you can get 10 percent off with our custom link betterhelp.com slash chase malia let's get started <笑>안녕하세요。キリングボイスへそう。ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、
bop little yeah. ditty. Yeah. That's nuts. Also, I feel like I don't understand the genre of music that I'm listening to. What do you mean? It's like so, it feels like I'm watching like, <clears throat> and I'm saying this in like the best way. It feels like I'm watching a toy commercial, but also a musical. Oh, wow. Do you know what I mean? Like sure. it feels like it's music for something, not music you listen to. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, so I'm really what curious mean. like what this was for. Like, sure. like and I, she even kind of rolled her eyes at the beginning like, this is awkward. This yeah. is all music I sang in my 20s. Well, <laughs> like, that's actually <clears throat> what I want to talk about. So I, before this and before what we do, you know, um, I was a music teacher. <clears throat> and before that, I was, you know, a music <clears throat> student and right. somebody who, who, you know, was auditioning for musicals and like in high school, yeah. you know, you do all that kind of stuff and you sing for people and it is awkward. Yes. Super um, awkward. But when you go out there and you say that it's awkward, it gets not less awkward. Right. <laughs> it's more, more awkward. awkward. <laughs> and like, if you are about that to sing really for somebody funny. and you start saying things like, Oh, well I'm mm -hmm. sick or, <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. You know? And, and you kind of, at least in, in, in American culture. Right. I, when I coach people for auditions, I say, don't apologize for anything. Mm. You don't have to, you know, don't preface it as this, even if it's the worst audition you've ever given. Right. You say nothing, you smile, you say thank you. Right. Um, it's kind of like fake it till you make it, but it's, not. It's about having a poker face it. and it's about, it's about having, also yeah. like when you preface it like that, mm -hmm. they're <laughs> already going to be kind of in that mood, if you will. You know, if yeah. singing is a mental game, right. so is just a lot of the things we do where if right. we, if we perceive, if you flavor it mm -hmm. before they even go into it yeah. with a certain like, ah, uh, well, this isn't going to be very good. And right. you tell them that before, right. then you're already kind of fighting a losing battle. I think so. Yeah. So yeah. the only reason I say that is not to <laughs> give um, you yeah. no. any audition prep, mm -mm. but to give you audition prep that yes. when you go in there, Smile, be excited, you know, uh, at least pretend, pretend like you're excited and pretend like you um, right. do, you know, you, this isn't awkward at all. And mm -hmm. it's, you know, people are going to remember that. But if you're, if you start by kind of uh, torpedoing your own audition, yeah. that's not good. Don't do that. Um, I feel like that, that's definitely like a performance it's just like, a, tip. It's a performance tip. And it's yeah. like, it's like just a, just an audition <clears throat> tip. Totally. You know, if you're auditioning totally. for the solo at your choir Absolutely. or whatever it is. Even interviewing. Just, even just interviewing. In general, yeah. yeah. You don't go to an interview and you say, well, I'm not very good. Right. And, you know, it kind of suck. And, this is awkward. <laughs> and this is awkward. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, but obviously this is a song she did 10 years ago. Totally. Kind of the other thing I want to say is. I, 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 we say this all the time. And so if you're new to the channel, you'll mm -hmm. hear this for the first time. If you're Absolutely. old to the channel, you'd be like, I'm so sick of you saying that. Right. But the nasal resonance, if you heard this by itself, you'd mm -hmm. be like, whoa, that's way too much. Mm -hmm. But in the mix and, and in like, re and recorded, Absolutely. it's, it's so perfect it's for, so good. for sitting away from like all the stuff that's going on in the background music yeah. to like sit really nice and forward. But if you, you know, take a listen, we'll do. I'll do, let me do the beginning right here. Yeah. It's just right here. It's so, yeah. It hangs out there. And it hangs out there. And if you heard it by itself, you'd be like, ah, it's too right. much. But it's sound, it fits so perfect. And so yeah. that's, you know, constantly what we're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of nasal resonance. Right. Play with it. Use it. Learn how to yeah. use it. And also I think that it's very fitting with um, this style of music, like even just popular music in general. I think it requires that type of resonance for um, the sound that we're looking for, right? It's a very yeah. clear sound. Yeah. yeah. And that's why, I mean, experiment with it. Know when to turn it up, turn mm -hmm. it down. Um, I, if you if you really, you know, listen to the music that you're singing with, yeah. you know, try to tune it. And, yeah. and it's, it's kind of part of our instrument. Yeah. So don't be afraid of it. Also to clarify, like it's kind of a fancy way of saying tone a little bit too. Like it's, an, it, it's not, that's not all tone is, but that's what it affects. And so when I feel like you watch like voice shows and they're like, Oh, you've got great tone dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that the nasal resonance has a lot to do with that. Mm -hmm. Um, that is, it is a piece of a small piece of it, but I think that that is a huge part to helping you get that popular contemporary tone. Yeah. Yeah.
Super cool. Let's keep going. Let's get to the next song. <clears throat> There's too many songs. Honestly, this seems exhausting, just in general. <laughs> and singing songs that to her are like 10 years old is rough. That's true. So, uh, it's right. Yeah, she just what's the alternate? really le- alternative. Uh, uh, it's easier too. Yeah. It's it's it's, and especially for like this song and yep. like it's it's what you want to do. Yep, you got to turn it up. Yep, I love it. Something that I think she's doing really, really well is it's not like we talk about phrasing. We talk about mm-hmm. like the techniques of of just singing and, yeah. and making the sound. Yeah. But I would say the way she hits hmm. certain consonants, a consonant is yeah. like a k, t, yeah. um, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Is really dynamic. Yeah. Like she's she's this this section here. Pickle, that too. pickle, pickle, yeah. pickle. Yeah. But the way she goes, pickle. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like a softer version of that. Same, yeah. You know, she just sang it a little bit earlier, very differently. Totally. Right. And this is so much softer. And it's mm-hmm. literally how she sang certain consonants. And it's um, you know, and that's not to say that when you're singing, think, oh, I could better hit these consonants. Yeah, no. It's easy. Just like, you know, you can easily get into that state where you're thinking about. Imagine you were telling somebody this in almost the softest voice you can. Like mm. it's like it's late at night and you guys are almost asleep and you're just trying to talk to them, but you don't want to be too loud, mm-hmm. right? And and you're not going to have hard T's and uh, yeah, S's and right. all that kind of stuff. You're going to try to soften that stuff. Um, and, and all of that is to say you can be dynamic with, with and that doesn't always mean volume. Yeah. That doesn't always mean volume. I feel like that's also, I couldn't put my finger on why like her voice seemed so interesting Mm. because there's nothing extremely exciting happening yet. And even the last time we listened to her, like it was almost hard for me to figure out even if she was singing like high, you Mm. know what I mean? Because it seems relatively easy for her. Yeah. Like it doesn't seem like she's doing anything, um, um, with high effort. Yeah. Yeah. But I would also say that it's still very like, there's something about it. And I think you're right. I think she's extremely interesting in the dynamics of how she enunciates. And then also just like, it's so nuanced, like the having 
even the ability to have such dynamics in your consonants is a sign of mastery, right? Yeah. Like that's, that she's obviously done this yeah. for a long time. She's saying the first, you know, same section yep. in two completely different ways. Right. And that's like a good rule of thumb. If you have to sing the same thing twice, make sure they're, they're different. They're different. Yeah. You don't sing them the same way. Twice. Absolutely. I think that's definitely a great, yeah. Example of that. Somerset. Um, I'm penny three now, so so gecky. More gay, you're much up by all. I'm penny three to leave in my gay. Because none of she am in there. I'm barky, Somerset jump. I guess you dig on a net. That comes to get all the dung in me. Yeah, me, Somerset. I see, can't some more. pretty difficult like yeah. and she's just like I got it no problem oh yeah it's really cool a lot of people really struggle with these um these quicker songs yeah like a lot of people who love singing want to do the big long ones right right because you can really kind yeah. of stretch out the yes. stuff and it's and it's not that it's easier but like you I don't have to push so hard i think it's also more friendly to singing like oh, this kind yeah. of stuff is not very friendly it's, to singing. It's tricky. It's difficult. it's you really have to use your voice as an instrument in these yep. in and, and it is an instrument, but I feel like we don't often think about it that way. And one thing I love that she does is um she is phrasing even though she's breaking it up. Right. Oh, a hundred percent. So it's still the same breath that 100%, she's percent. Yeah. Da 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 da. Yeah, it's it's so not good. like broken no. to where she's stopping the air. The air is almost still going. It's just getting broken up a little bit. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's getting chopped up, yeah. but it's still connected in a way. Absolutely. It's a, it's a really great use of phrasing. But I think that's also a good, like, that kind of goes back to even her having such um, dynamic consonants. Mm. I think that she's so very aware of how to use her voice in all of its aspects yeah. because that these types of songs can so easily become choppy in that oh, way, yeah. but it requires two things at once where, where you have that energy in the air and the vowel and the phrase moving, but you still have the consonants to make sense of what you're singing and yeah. the consonants to make, you know, um, to not get in the way and not distract. But I think she's doing both so well. Oh yeah. Um, I also think that she is just a like great example of intonation <laughs> mm. because you can obviously hear this as live and like not, assisted because she kind of like flubs at the beginning mm. and like laughs a little. Um, and I feel like it just sounds like she's talking to us. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it just sounds very much like it's her voice. Yeah. And I think that's such a cool example of, of, of skill. Yeah. Yep. Chang Kakai Dear 
So one thing that we talk a lot about on the channel is, is like vocal health. And, you know, there's a lot of huge artists who have had vocal surgeries after, you know, singing for mm -hmm. a long time. And it's not really not even like a long time. It's it usually is like they'd go on tour. Right. And they're singing six, you know, eight or shows even for a like week. a season, right? Yeah, yeah, just a season. They're doing it a lot. And it's, it's just tough. And I think, you know, one thing is it's kind of whisper singing. Mm -hmm. You know, she does it, I think, a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, and it might it might even be intentional, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to, you know, point it out to everybody yeah. who might be trying to sing along or trying to sound like that. Like, if you hear, like, a air hissing, like, yeah. ah, yep. or you hear that note, but you also hear a, ah, yeah. At the same time, yeah. um, that can really just wear out your voice. Yeah. And so something that I have struggled with a mm -hmm. lot in my singing career is exactly that. And that's how yeah. I know. Um, but honestly, if I just relax my throat a little bit, mm -hmm. I can still have that nice, quiet and intimate yeah. feel and sound without that air escaping. So mm -hmm. is, before, uh, versus if I relax. Still there. It's yeah. a, it could be better. I'm going to try again. Uh, yeah. yeah. Still working on it. But mm -hmm. um, trying to trying to just let, if you let this go mm -hmm. um, and you you fully let your vocal folds come together, yeah. it's just going to be, it's going to be better for you. So even, even though I didn't quite get it, trying and like continuing to go toward that is really going to help you in the long run. Absolutely. Rather than kind of, not worrying about it. And then right. all of a sudden you're in your thirties trying right. to figure it out. Right. So I think there's also, I feel like there's a good example in that song of her having really good resonance. Um, oh, I think she gets there. I don't absolutely. know if she does. I don't know if it's a choice when she's down absolutely. low like that, or if it's, if you know, it's hard to do it when, it, when it's totally. quiet, you're trying to be quiet. You know, I think another aspect to it is that microphones can pick up so much. Mm. Um, and so I think that that probably accentuates it, but I do want to just listen really quick to a moment that, was kind of repeated in the melody that I feel like every time she went there it was so nice. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can really hear the hiss. Exactly. When she really opens up, it's gone. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, and I just think that that's, I don't necessarily think that's a choice in the sense that she's like, I'm going to hiss and hold my throat here. You no. know what I mean? I think a lot of it too is. So going for a whispery sound. Yeah. I'd even go so far as to say it's like stylistic, right? Like, you know, the whispery sound that, that like, I guess whispery sound is the best way you can sure. describe that. Sure. It is stylistic, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah. 스물다섯 살 대표곡이죠. 팔레트 들려드리겠습니다. 이상하게도 요즘은 그냥 쉬운 게 좋아. 하긴 그래도 좋은 날 부를 땐참 예쁘더라. That's is that like, high? It's pretty high. Yeah, like, it sounds it, high. It's kind of late right now. I'm definitely not warmed up, but 
That's not low. Like, it's just... It's not low. That's not low. <laughs> For sure. I like it. Because it it's also, it's one of those things where it's like, it's like head voice territory. Sure. Right? Like, it, and yeah. we try to avoid that, but I just mean by what I'm saying is like, it's for sure, like, it's for sure there. Like up, up That's there. That's for sure. The floaty. Yeah. Whoo. It's like for sure up there. Yeah. Interesting. Very. I like it. It's weird because part of me is like, that's not sing-along music. Like, like maybe it. you guys can. Oh, yeah. See, I think. I like it. I like I mean, that no, she it's writes a jam, songs. But I'm just like, like it's no, so I'm high. 22. I love I'm that. I'm 25. I'm 20. I love it's it. I also good. like that she writes, I thought I, I was so pretty when I sang that song. Mm. It's so cool. Like, she's talking to herself. Mm. Anyway, pretty I, cool. I was going to say that I feel like what I mean by it's not like you're not singing along to it is that she's consistently singing up there. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> she hangs out up there. It is impressive. This is where she hangs out. It's so crazy. That's cool. Wow. Super cool. Yeah. Well. We're going to do it. We split these Killing voices up into two parts. We do, guys. Because they're long. They're, they're going to be the longest thing in the Absolutely. world. Absolutely. And you guys want to come back. Come on. Come on. Just you want to come back. Come on back. So back. we hope that you guys enjoyed part one of I Use Killing Voice. If you like these videos and you like the content that we make and you're looking for another way to support us, we have just launched our memberships here on our channel. So it is a new thing that YouTube has brought to us. Um, YouTube memberships similar to what you guys have seen over on Patreon. We are shifting it here to YouTube to keep it all native and local in this place. And we're excited. So if you guys want to support our channel in that way, you can join. All of the details are below and we hope to see you guys there. Um, check out another video of ours and maybe hit the notification bell so you can be notified yeah. next time we post part two. Part two is coming out real it's coming soon. soon. So, so don't, don't even worry it. about it. It's yeah. coming real soon. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys next time. <laughs>